Vegas checking in from Melbourne, Australia. And today we've got part two of a very highly anticipated series, um, which I started, uh, but I've only just built up the courage to complete. It is, of course, part two in the series about Podrovka beef goulash. Now, something I didn't uh, touch upon in episode one was, of course, the other facets of the can they do actually on the front mention that this is a sterilized can so they go all out just to reassure you in case um your faith in uh southeastern european canning techniques uh is lacking that they do make a point of just reminding us that there's a sterilized can containing the fine ingredients which we touched upon in the first episode in part one so let's get this on the go and um make ourselves some beef goulash uh care of the good people of pedrolka okay so in case you were concerned about food hygiene and preparation i have put my hair up so that's all good to go let's tackle this can head on and um yeah see what we find within there it is ready to go now something i did observe on the Pedrovka website of course is the picture of the can that they had there actually had instead of the picture of the meal it had a picture of a cow so I'll cut to that just so you can see now of course also we mentioned this product was made in Croatia uh, at the Podrovka manufacturing plant um, so we'll cut to a location of that on Google Maps, just so you can get an idea of where it is um, and how far this little can has travelled to make its way to Melbourne, Australia for this nail-biting video today. Okay, we're back. Now this is the bit no doubt everyone has been waiting for, the opening of the can. So here we go. Hopefully you can see that. And what have we got here? Boy, looks like we've got some helpers, but that's all right. Now, what we do is a very, oh, a very important part is the pour. Let's see how this guy comes out of the can. So with a bit of pouring action there, you can see. It's certainly something that's been sitting in the can. It's all there. Oh, there we go. There's all the quality ingredients come out. And they've, sometimes they sort of separate when they sit in a can on the shelf for a while. Um, there we go. That's the pour of the goulash it has come out and it's in the tub so what can i say about that it's um it's certainly there no you guys just stay out um so we can see the beef chunks we can see like the the sauce made out of wheat flour spice extracts um salt sugar vinegar i'm sure and um yeah it's a surprise to find on these types of meals there's no like crazy you know preservative 157 or flavor enhancer 624 and so on and so forth so we'll have another quick look at it um so you can see it's quite actually a thick consistency with the um sauce it does appear to have separated into its um, individual components over its time being stored in the can, uh, but that's to be expected. Um, speaking of expectations, I was picturing this come out, coming out of the can in one sort of big um, gooey blobby chunk kind of thing, but again, no, it's quite liquidy. It's got some uh, movement to it. And um, yeah, the bits of beef look, look all right, obviously. We're not going to have them now, but what we will do, excuse me, is 
get this into the microwave and let's see how it comes out. So let's roll. Boy, get out of there. Okay, so into the microwave she goes, all set. I find the least worst way to cook this. You might, oh shush, you might have a better one or a least worst one. I just give him one minute and 11 seconds on medium power. Let's start it off and fire it up. You can see all the close up cooking action there. How incredibly exciting. Okay, so as if that already wasn't the most boring bit of YouTube content ever, I can, I'm gonna spare everyone watching the item getting cooked in the microwave. It's been on for one minute and 11 seconds on our particular microwave. You know, he's heating up, but not quite there. So, excuse me. <laughs> um, we're gonna give him another minute and 11 seconds on medium, and that should get us across the line. So, stand by, here we go. Bang, we're away. So, stand by for action. All right, the excitement's building in the room. It's on its final lap. Outstanding. So I'm just gonna let that sit um, for about 30 seconds, and then we will be plating up. Okay, so the microwave's giving us that big old come and get your food beep, which indicates it's been sitting there for a while. So let's get this out. And have a quick examination so you can see as oh yep that's that's certainly done um it's gonna need a stir obviously uh, but we'll do that we'll just give it a couple of minutes to cool um or probably a minute or so and that should be banging well and then we'll plate up and see how we are yeah you can see there's a lot of steam coming off it so that's that's good indicating it is cooked so the power settings on your microwave um you know vary i probably should have um prepared this on a stove but i couldn't be bothered doing the dishes afterwards so um yeah but my apologies maybe maybe another time if this turns out to be decent so Let's get over to the plating area and see how this comes out. And um, of course, the all important taste test. Okay, so we've arrived at the Rob Vegas food tasting area. And um, yeah, it's time to fire this up. Now, something I didn't mention before when I initially took the lid off is that um, it's actually quite, um, it it's, does not smell bad. Um, I'm not sure what my initial expectation was, but it smells like a pretty decent meal. That would, you know, for something you get out of a can. Now, let's um, stir it up a bit. So, here we go. You can see the mix there. So, he's getting a bit of a stir. You can see there's well, some pretty decent sized big beefy chunks in there, which is, um, which is what you want with a goulash and a big... Like, the sauce probably hasn't thickened up as much as I would like. Um, but I guess, you know, if you were doing this on a stovetop, as opposed to in the microwave, you'd have the opportunity for that to thicken up and as, and so forth. And, yeah. Well, let's just dive right in and plate up and get this on the go. see the juicy thick sauce you can see my bespoke cutlery there's the big bits of beef yum you know you want it okay so let's dive right in and um, grab a bit. 
So let's find a nice meaty chunk of beef in the goulash. And it's quite tender. It's nice. And the um Yeah, nice goulash sauce. Um, yeah, and the meat is really nice. The beef is um, very tender. You know what? I don't mind that. Yeah. It's a tiny can, it's, um, what was it, 300 grams or 300 mils, so you're not getting a lot for the can, but it did fill my bespoke plate um, there, and um, yeah, yeah, it tastes pretty good. Would I get it again at the regular price of $4 Australian? Um, probably not, but if it is on special for $2, so... Um, Shout out to the good people at Pedrovka and Coles Supermarkets in Melbourne. Uh, if you want to pop that on special again, I'll um I'll pick up a can in in a, in the blink of an eye. Um, because that was actually pretty good. Um, and it gives you that very sort of hearty goulash um warmth uh on a cold winter's day, much as this one in in good old Melbourne. Um. For future usage, I would definitely prepare this on the stove, but um, like I mentioned, I couldn't be bothered doing the dishes, so yeah, in the microwave it is. The next thing, um, yeah, that's some fine work. I, I don't mind that at all, but um, like I said, the price point, especially at the moment, um, with all the weirdness on earth, um, yeah, use your discretion there if you're after some lockdown food um but yeah they've, they've done well i don't mind that at all let's um do another quick lap around the meal and um yeah get to the wrap up all right so you can see empty plate there's the cooking utensils um so yeah just all bespoke equipment bespoke in that it's only getting used once and going straight in the bin so no washing up that's always a plus okay so there you have it podravka's beef goulash made with pride in croatia and i tell you what they really did well and um yeah that was enjoyable like nothing meat beats uh you know homemade traditional slow cooked goulash you know, beef, potatoes, all the trimmings, you know, onions, the lot. But if you can't be bothered doing that, and like I said, if it's on special at your local supermarket, I got that can for two Australian dollars, so I'm happy with that. That was good enough for lunch today, and um, yeah, it gives you that real winter warmth feeling, which I mentioned before. Um, yeah, shout out to the good people at Pedrovka for putting together a good meal and, um, yeah, giving me lunch today and I didn't have to put in much effort, just some plastic containers in the microwave and a plastic fork and plate and bang, lunch is done. So if you want to know any more about my special cooking techniques, leave a comment in the comment section below, you know, like, subscribe, all that. If there's any canned delicacies or quick lunches or whatever it might be you'd like me to try out let me know and again you know like and subscribe comment um yeah whatever it is it's all good this is rob vegas signing out from melbourne australia <laughs>